All right, praise God. What a great win. Uh, great home environment as always. And um, what a story, man. What a story. T Bass hitting a franchise record kick. Um, and that doesn't happen by itself, so I want to make sure I give credit where credit's due. In, in addition to T Bass with, uh, with Sam and Reed and the, uh, the guys up front that were blocking for him. So um, just big time kick for us. Got some injuries. I don't have uh, much information, much up, uh, on the update end for you guys here, so I'll update you when I can. For Tyler specifically, the person, to see what he's gone through over the course of this season, it seemed like you and him were both pretty emotional post game when you gave him the game ball. What did that mean to you? I just think uh, overall um, that here's a young man that uh, has been going through it. and. The journey that he's been on week to week, um, you know, the questions that have been asked of him, of me, but really, you know, just in terms of him having to feel, it's natural. It's the it's the business we're in. Um, I think it's a great example of mental toughness. I think it's a great example of perseverance, resilience, um, and for for young kids out there, right? Who um, here's a player that was under the microscope pretty darn hard, and. Uh, you know, we brought a player in here to, to uh, compete with him in uh, midseason, and um, he didn't back down. And uh, I think that says a lot about who he is. And, you know, this journey will continue, uh, but it also speaks to our locker room of even today's game. You know, we uh, missed the extra point, I think it was, and then um, he was going to have to make a kick later, and he made it um, in, a, in, a, in a convincing fashion. So, um, you know, this game is as much mental as it is physical and sometimes even more mental. And um, I couldn't be more more proud of him and, and what he did today. John, how did you reach the decision to even try it there? Because if he misses, they're going to have probably a play and maybe a look at the end zone. So how did you decide you were comfortable yeah. trying it? I took a piece of grass and threw it up. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, yeah, you're a golfer, so. Um, no, I just uh, I happened to get a, a glimpse of T Bass in warm ups and knew that the 40, um, I thought he had a pretty good warm up, especially from deep. And, and um, you know, we had a little bit of a, of a win that, that direction, so I felt good about it. And I trust him. And, uh, and he came through. I asked some of the players what their vantage point was for it when it's happening. What are you doing? Do you watch it? Do you look away? How do you have that all like play out? <laughs> yeah, um, just praying, you know, praying for T-Bass um, and just watching the execution, really. So just like the fans, right? Other than that, um, I was a fan watching them. And it's great to see our, our players react the way that they did after, you know, that, that, that kick went through. And, again, just so happy for, for T-Bass and uh, his family. And um, this is what sports is about, like people in – the Buffalo community sitting around their TVs, tailgating all day. The fans who are here tailgating since the morning, some of them since Friday. Um, that's what that's what it's about, man. It's just, I mean, I'm driving in this morning and you got, you're seeing um, cars full of families, people, friends coming to come to a game and they get to experience that moment. Um, that's why we all love sports, right? Hey, Sean, in the sense, do you feel vindicated for how you guys have stood by Tyler Pauline? <laughs> I mean, he did it. I didn't do it. He did it. Um, and I know why you're asking, Joe, but look, he, he's the one who did it. And um, again, like I said, the, the mental toughness that that takes, um, I mean, what's it been since, since last year, right? That, the, you know, the questions that, you know, we're, we're starting to pop up and more and more this year, and then we bring in a kicker to compete with them. And um, he just stayed true to who he is, and he stayed true to his process. Even today, like I said, early miss on the extra point, and he stayed true to his process, and I think that's very powerful. Not suggesting you want to win games on last-minute kicks all the time, but do you think that games like this or wins like this can bring your team closer together or even closer together oh, just they with do. the way that they yeah. celebrate and react? Yeah, they do. Um, they certainly do. It's hard, you know, and every week it's hard. Um, you can never take a week for granted or, okay, we'll look at the record and the good look at the schedule. Oh, we're going to win here. And you get to move a couple, you know, games down the road and we should be uh, just stay focused on what's right in front of us. Um, I mean, you saw it. We didn't play a great game. Uh, we can be better. And so we've got to go back and 
make sure our techniques are sound. Fundamentally, we're better than what we were today. Um, just a lot to improve on. Um, but when you can win a, a close one like this and it's back and forth and we're, we didn't have our A game, and give them credit. Uh, they came in here ready to play, and I thought they did a great job uh, with their coaching staff having that team ready to play. And, um, you know, we hung in there. And uh, we were taking some punches early. And at halftime, I thought we, we reset a little bit um, uh, with more work to go, though. You brought in some competition for Tyler, but you released Lucas this week. Did you see anything from Tyler that led to that decision? What did lead to that decision? And do you feel like a little Babe Ruth, you called your shot a little bit here? Or? T. Bass made the kick, man. He made the kick, right? Uh, great, great snap, great hold. Um, again, when you're when you're up front in those situations, also that ball normally has a chance to come out low because of the length of the kick, and sometimes those go the other way, right? So you're you're thinking about that a little bit of hey, but the way that it was blocked up front, um, that that is just as important as anything. And he and T Bass trust those guys. Um, so Matt Smiley, I should mention him, and, and Coach Harkey, the coaches of. I thought special teams was a factor today for us in, in a good way. John, Kyer, Elam's another player who's been through it. Yeah. Benford can't go. Kyer has to start on an easy task against Hill and Waddle. What did you kind of see how he played? Yeah, he battled. You know, he went out. He had the one double move, I think it was, on the on our sideline there. And um, I thought came within, you know, a whisker of, of knocking that, that ball down and getting that ball out. Um, 10 and 17, they make it hard. You know that they they had their day with us in the run game. I thought too 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 many times, um, but overall, when you get ten and seventeen out there, that's a, those are tough matchups, and and our guys fought. Well, again, you know, usually you know, teams are rather evenly matched terms of the top level of of the of the stars right I mean Josh is such a good player but you look around the league you know, most teams have a have a star or two or three right and and so the the team really to me the journey is well how who's going to step up for us right at critical moments of a game or critical moments of the season who are the players that are going to kind of come from the depth of the roster and step up into starting roles and play and perform at the level that we need them to for us to for us to win. And you mentioned a few of them right there with with Mac and and uh, and uh, and Quentin Morris, right? And so, and some of those guys are battling through injuries, but they're out there playing. And so, I don't take that for granted either. John, kind of along those lines, I think you had seven rookies active today. Um, can you just talk a little bit about the contributions that you got from from those young guys? Uh, yeah, I mean, you, you're seeing guys out there that um, Ray Davis being one of them. You got Solly was out there, um, Keon. I mean, the list goes on. And um, you guys never thought I believed in playing young guys. I know that's how it is, right? <laughs> that guy gives me the updates every year, every week. They don't think you play young guys. We'll play young guys when they're ready to play, and uh, and they earn it. And when they earn it, they play. And when they earn it, when they're out there and take advantage of the opportunity, they'll get more opportunities. So there's no secret. Uh, hey, keep them back, keep them down. Now it's, hey, good players that earn the right to play, they play. Amari or Christian specifically, were they relatively close in this game? Amari and Christian. And Christian? Yeah. Uh, it's hard for me to say. It depends what close is. Um, you know, I would say 50-50. You know, that's not to give you a politically correct answer, even though it is an election week coming up. but. Um, honestly, probably 50-50. It was a tough week for both of them. Um, thought they were going to be good. Then, you know, one, one had a, you know, not a setback, but, like, just didn't feel good. And so, it, it, and again, you know, in credit to our, our, our training staff, I mean, we've had a, our fair share of injuries and, you know, and the coaches, too, of, hey, who's up, who's going to be able to play? Because it affects, you know, one player affects sometimes more than one position and special teams. So, um, you know, overall, a lot of kind of distractions this week with some of that stuff, but we got to get ourselves back focused and ready to go. Coach, is this your 80th win? Am I right? I thought you were going to say, is this my, am I 80 years old? I'm like, I feel like it in my heart. You know, I don't know. Um, I don't know. Uh, but good win, though, right? Good win for the 
for the home team and the and the guys, the boys in blue, as Kyle Williams used to always say, the boys in blue came through today. So it's a great environment out there. Coach, last question. Coach, your comfortability with playing the young players, is that what it is with the, with the depth of your roster, using the entire roster a little more? Yeah, I'm, I've always been comfortable playing young guys. Um, you just got to earn it, right? I'm not going to put you out there and you look, um, you know, one of our veteran players in the eye, and, and I'm responsible for putting them out there. And if they're not ready to play, and they haven't earned it, then I'm then I'm doing them a disservice. I'm talking about the veteran players, so um, things are earned here, and uh, those that earn it and take advantage of the opportunity um, get more opportunities. It's really not a complicated formula. So um, I think uh, you know, to Brandon's credit and, and our scouting staff, this this group this year has been. Um, has come as not only talented, but has come in with a lot of really good intangibles. Not that the ones before haven't, but you talk about, you know, just basic day-to-day -day routines, um, you know, being hungry to earn the right to, to play and yet grateful um, with a certain level of gratitude to be on the team and, and you know, taking their role. You look at, you know, I mentioned Cole Bishop on special teams. He, he was out there, played some defense for us in the Houston game. Now he's been just primarily a special teams player, but you saw him show up again the last couple of weeks as late as this today with, a, I think it was a really good play on, on the kickoff coverage. And I mean, those are, those are important pieces for us. And so, and Cole will be, Cole will be fine. You know, he's just got to continue to grow and, and develop. And, but all of it is experience. And, and if you're learning from experience, in the end, you'll be fine.